your host with the most, Big Daddy Bam Bam, aka Chicken Wing. Anyway, today what I'm going over is the essence of Big Daddy Bam Bam. These are the botanical herbs and things I mix together to fight my cancer. Now, first things I have to do is a disclaimer so that I ain't held responsible for what you do. Uh, a lot of this has not been proven. This is my opinion. This is what's worked for me. Some of it can be dangerous. Some of it can be deadly. If you don't know what you're doing, Get some advice. Go to your local herb shop. Talk to somebody that knows about botanicals and stuff. This is just what's worked for me. It is no way been checked, observed, or approved by the FDA. Some of these are very potent botanicals. Let's get the party started, right? Okay, so like I said, this is what works for me. This is what I use. You know, I forgot my heritage for a long time and I kind of got away from the herbs and botanicals. And then a couple years back, I started growing a garden again and started going out back into the woods when I had a chance and getting back into the botanicals and very careful with this stuff. Like I said, take a little bit, try a little bit, go over it a little bit. Cause some of these are really potent which when in a battle sometimes you gotta use big weapons okay so let's start off with echinacea i think that's how you said i don't know the cornflower um a lot of these what i will do is i will use whatever part i'm gonna use whether it be the stalk or the flower and i will dry it and the way that i normally dry stuff is i'll put it in a jar whether it's a baby food jar or a mason jar it's very potent so be very careful with that one Okay, next, pokeweed. We grew up with poke salads. A lot of people don't know about this. This is, the FDA says it's toxic. We've ate it all our lives. But what I will do with this, I don't eat it in a salad no more. Uh, what I will do is use about two leaves, dry them out, put them in a food processor with everything else. Uh, I use two small leaves. I normally like to get it just about the time that it's getting cold enough where it starts dying out that way it's not quite as potent um it's a good mix in there it can be very toxic so be very careful with this one too oh ginger now i love ginger uh i like to do my own ginger sometimes i can't so you can get ginger powder you can make your own ginger powder google how to make your own ginger powder the ginger works really really good um it's healthy for you and when making instant mashed potatoes and stuff ginger just will take that you know that instant mashed potato and counterbalance unhealthiness of it but it'll also you know take the flavor and you just use enough to where it's not overwhelming to your palate yeah tomatoes now this one's quite rare everybody goes tomatoes how are you going to use tomatoes in a spice what I do is we grow you know I've got the garden so we grow different kind of tomatoes we got the uh, the Prince tomatoes which is the purple ones that are real sweet we've got some of the red ones we got yellow ones uh, we got the big beef eaters we got different sizes. basically going for here is the flesh and the skin is what we're basically going for so I'll do that and then I'll put the rest of it and a Tupperware thing. I've got a clear Tupperware thing. I don't really think it's Tupperware. Where the top of it is Tupperware, the rest of the glass. And I'll set it in the window and let it be sun dried. Yeah. Butternut squash. Now, the butternut squash is kind of iffy. You know, everybody goes, well, you know, this and that. And they'll put brown sugar on it and they'll bake it. It's really healthy for you. Look at the benefits. I love butternut squash. I get them when they're small. I don't like them when they get real big. If you're just going to eat them for like a family or something, yeah, but. For the things I get them when they're maybe about this big yeah about this big and they work out perfect basil self-explanatory uh, if you pick your own basil I like to de root mine just cuz or not de root debane it uh, and then chop it real good I dried a little bit before I put it in because you need this dried if you're going to carry this 
as an essence, you can put it in a little shaker and take it with you on the trail or take it with you on the bike. You need this as dry as you can get it, but just cumin. You can't find cumin seed around here. I just buy it. Just buy the store, add it into my mix. It's got all kind of health properties. Uh, dandelion. Now these are another potent. Yeah, dandelions are one that grow out in your yard. When we was younger, we used to have to go out and pick these out of the yard and they'd make dandelion wine out of them. When you put them in a mason jar, you just use the flour. You don't use the stem at all. Put them in a mason jar, let them sit for a couple months. They'll turn into this black gooey liquid that you can make dandelion wine out of. <laughs> That's not what we're doing here. We're just going to use some of the flowers, you know, pick through it, let them dry a little bit, put them in our mix. Uh, there's all kinds of health benefits, these things. Aloe vera. Now this is don't actually go in, but I use the juice out of aloe vera. Everybody knows if you get a burn or something, you put aloe vera on you, and it's really good for your skin, really good for burns. And you can buy the juice in a health food store, uh, but I'll, I'll juice the plants every chance I get. Um, they say there's a, wide, a way to dry the leaves. I haven't never been able to work it out exactly to where it will go in my mix. So normally what I do is just carry a little thing. You know, I have like my olive oil and this juice and that juice, and I'll carry them with me as part of my essence. I just had to throw it in there because it's really good. I don't know, a lot of people don't know that you can eat it and drink it, but it's really good for you. Peppers. Now, I dry these out just a little bit. Now, I normally use the green peppers, or I let the red ones get so red on the vine right before harvest that they start shriveling up. Zucchini. Zucchini's awesome. Uh, I don't even know what to say about this. Just slice it. I slice some paper thin and dry them out that way with a little bit of salt on them. Ginger. What can I say about ginger? Of course, you can buy the ginger powder or the root, and if you make the root, dry it up just like everything else. Uh, now, this is Touch Me Not. Uh, it's called. What is it called? It is called Jewelweed. I've always called it Touch Me Not. We used to get poison ivy, uh, the family did, granny would, you know, give us this little concoction she'd make out of it and we'd eat it, and after a while, I don't get poison ivy. I haven't had poison ivy since I was probably about nine years old, you know. Don't eat the stalks, whatever you do. It is very, very potent if you eat the stalks. But take a couple of leaves, dry them out just like you do everything else, you know, mix them into your mix, and... It's really good for you. Onion, onion powder, minced onion, anything that's dry, you can make your own. If you don't know how to make onion powder, Google it. Anyway, the onion is a diuretic, so it'll help everything, you know, move on this course. Uh, at the same time, it has all kind of other good properties about it, but I always use onion and garlic and everything almost. I think I do anyway. Uh, oregano, self-explanatory if you, you know, dry your leaves out, mince them up in your your shake broccoli now this might sound crazy if you dry your broccoli like I dry everything else and what I normally do on the broccoli is put a little bit of honey on it before I start drying it that way the honey dries onto it and then mince it up you can't once you mince it in you can't taste it um, and it's healthy for you uh, turmeric you can't find that around here too much uh, if you go out you know, every once in a while you might find a, a plant in somebody's garden or something, but uh, if you go out, just go to the health food store, get the natural stuff, mix it in with it. It's uh, uh, kind of overwhelming on a palate, so get used to it. Uh, the cumin seeds and the turmeric are kind of, you know, Indian spices, what they call Indian spices. Take your time, learn about it. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up. You can always hit me up in the comment section or hit me up on our Facebook page. So anyway, until next time, get out there in this big old world and enjoy. Live, love, laugh. Be free. Like and subscribe. Free you don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are here.